today I introduce you to the Sonicator version 0.2. The biggest difference, the biggest change, is that it has the cooling fan on both sides. It has two cooling fans. This one will push the uh, air in. This one will pull the air out. So it's a push-pull configuration. It is specifically designed to work primarily with one part of it. So you can see there's holes only in this one part of the fan. Uh, but uh, that way it will go against the controller board. So if you look inside now, you see that the controller board has the holes and it has the path for the air coming out. Now these fans were 12 volts, so I had to add a little 12 volt adapter to drive them. And that's no problem. And I, I need to clean up my wiring a little bit, but it'll, it works fine for now. Um, so, Sonicator 2.0, or 0.2 actually, that's still the zero model. Of course, there are things that I would do differently if I was making it from scratch. Now, there's been some discussion on the board about the use of the rubber bands for the uh, mounting of the, the containers. They do, for me, they seem to work fairly well. They hold, they hold the container and give it a, a good amount of leeway. They're positioned so they're holding the container just barely off of the bottom. And so it's getting a max a lot of airflow and it does seem like it can position a lot. It also I also believe that the uh, Sonicator in general has been working. Here is my latest uh, here here is the sample that I've been working on. It started out as uh, barely gray up on top and then you could see the things on the bottom. And over time it has become black which I believe is indicative of the graphene layers being separated. So I'm going to put this back in and I'm going to add some water into the pan. Now as I do this, what happens is you get to a certain level and it even starts floating. And you kind of want to do that so it lifts it up with the rubber bands. So the rubber bands aren't really supporting the weight of the sample. They are just supplying the, uh, they're just constraining it from being a problem. So now it's, it's almost, it's floating a bit and it's not really being weighed down with the rubber bands, but the rubber bands do it. And you can see how easy it moves back and forth. It really is easy to move. It's not, it's not uh, constrained very much at all because there's not a high pressure on it. The fans are interesting. This fan they are identical, but this fan is a lot quieter than this fan. I don't know if that's because the, uh, of the push-pull configuration. This one is, is pushing, of course, and the other one is pulling. Or if it's just a variation in the model, and, and maybe I can replace this one. Um, but even so, the fans are less noisy than uh, this guy. The, the actual vibration is, is noisier. Uh, it's still quite acceptable uh, and quite fine. I, I got the large fans because the larger you get the fan, the more, the less noise typically they make. And so I got the larger fans uh, deliberately. I tried first with a tiny little fan that had the same cubic air rating, and it would be would have been nice because I could have mounted you know right near the the place I wanted it, but it was louder than a banshee. It was crazy. So I went with these because they are quieter and we'll see how they work. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. This is designed to cool it down. I've used the uh, Sonicator now for a couple of hours. Um, and after about half an hour, the water in the tank has been getting warm. And so I have specifically turned it off and not wanted anything to overheat. Now I'm hoping to be able to do longer runs without anything overheating. Thanks for your time.